Welcome everyone to my second video blog for the year. Uh, it's great to have your questions and please keep them coming. So our first question is from Sophie Baker from the Nectar program. She wants to know more about why ANU needs to lead the nation in mentoring as described in our uh, strategic plan. So I'm very lucky, I'm a very sociable person and so throughout my life, I have been able to seek out mentors, and at any given time, including in this job, I take advice from a whole range of people all the time. I also try to help out other people in their careers uh, and provide them advice, people here at ANU, but also people around uh, the nation and around the world. But not everyone uh, is as extrovert as I am, and so I think it's really important, especially for uh, our staff and our students, uh, to get some mentoring, especially in critical times when they're starting, for example, a new job here at ANU. And so this mentoring program really is there to help people get a sense of what's possible, how to navigate, for example, the university or Canberra, to understand things like the Australian Research Council or the NHMRC. But it's also there to be someone to, who's, to get some advice from people who have been through a lot and can you know, reflect on the hard and the hard times, how they're unfortunately just part of life and sometimes they can help you how to get through those hard times. So it is a really a multifaceted relationship that will take many forms depending on the situation and the people involved. But it is really important, I think, that everyone feels that they have someone they can rely on uh, for uh, advice and help. And so that's why I think it's so important. Uh, for our early uh, uh, EMCRs, uh, you'll be glad to know that we have a uh, program commencing, a, a pilot program that we're expanding up based on one within the sciences. And so I encourage you uh, to find out more about it at the link that's at the uh, bottom of the video. Our second question comes from Allison Wright. Uh, she asks or says, it was announced earlier this year that ANU will host a major forum on national indigenous policies and governance. Uh, she thinks it's a great initiative, but she wants to know more. Is there an opportunity for interested staff and students to be involved? And so at the very top level, the role of ANU is to convene the discussions that the nation needs to have, but for reasons political in nature often is unprepared to have. And since we are so committed uh, as a university to the uh, indigenous uh, people of Australia, it strikes uh, us that it is a great opportunity to go through, follow, in, follow on from the Uluru Statement uh, and talk about reconciliation and recognition. Doesn't mean we're gonna solve it, but by convening a forum that brings people from around the world and around the country, my hope is that we can, here at ANU, uh, restart what appears to be stalled discussions. And so we are being joined by the four members of Parliament who are Indigenous uh, to convene an event in July at uh, the Australian Museum of Democracy, also known as Old Parliament House. Uh, it's going to take, uh, take place in the House of Reps chamber that holds 150 people, uh, give or take a few. And so the forum is going to have fairly limited attendance uh, from any given place, including ANU, because it needs to represent stakeholders uh, of all sorts. So uh, there's going to be an opportunity to put an expression of interest uh, in but as I said, most people are gonna to have to participate in other ways. So one of the things that we'll be doing is live streaming the event here into ANU and undertaking uh, some activities here that uh, parallel the event uh, at Old Parliament House. So if you are really interested, please let us know and uh, email into uh, the email address at the bottom of the screen. Tell us your interest of whether or not you'd like to act as a volunteer perhaps help convene a set of activities that uh, would mirror what's going on at uh, Old Parliament House. And of course, we'll give you the opportunity to uh, sign up and be part of what I think will be a historic event, but one that I do hope helps, uh, that I help, hope helps Australia uh, advance on this very challenging topic that has been with us since the time of Federation.
Our final question today comes from Emeritus Pref Professor John Nalen Maloney. John writes, the damage done to the university, especially to the sections of Chifley Library, is particularly worrying. Is it eventually possible to list what is lost? And I'm sure that retired staff would be happy to gift the library such items in their own library. So, uh, for example, he says he has a volume, 25 volumes of historical studies in his collection that might be useful for students. So, we are deeply, um, I think, grieved by the loss uh, of so many works down in Chifley Library in history, philosophy, and politics. And the reality is we're not going to be able to replace all of them, but we are absolutely committed to creating a collection uh, going forward that is every bit as good as what we had. But it's going to be a slow process that requires uh, a lot of thought uh, and planning because we have an opportunity to design something that will serve Australia and the ANU uh, for the future now. Uh, and if we're going to go through that level of pain of rec uh, recreating the collection, we might as well do it and be as strategic about it as possible. Nonetheless, uh, if people have things in their library or know where uh, you know, some key items that they're familiar with down there might be that they would be prepared to donate, please email the library, and you can see Roxanne's uh, email uh, on the screen, uh, and let her know what you have and what you might be prepared uh, to donate. We won't need everything, uh, but it would be great to have a list uh, of things that we might start uh, building up our collections with quickly. People are going to need to be patient. This is going to take some time. We've lost hundreds of thousands of books, and so we really are going to have to be slow and methodical. But I do commit that we are going to get the Chifley Library and the collections uh, back up to scratch, uh, and it is something that literally is the National University. We cannot afford to not do well. Okay, so that's it for this month's video blog. Uh, I encourage you to put your questions in. Uh, it's at vc.messages at anu.edu.au. Until our next set of questions, have fun.